A stock flow diagram shows the parts of a system and how those parts affect one another. It creates a visual representation of how a system works. Key stocks or accumulations are identified with the box. These stocks can go up and down based on their flows or rates of change. One reason this tool is so helpful in building understanding is that it shifts focus away from the individuals in the system to seeing those individuals as part of a larger accumulation. Accumulations are all around us. A population of wolves or bison in a forest. A character's or a real person's level of happiness. Sometimes we don't even notice them because they are so obviously there. Snow on the ground. Water in a lake. Grass on the rangeland. And trees in a forest. We can show these accumulations as stocks that can go up and down. A stock with an inflow can go up. A stock with an outflow can go down. A stock with an inflow and an outflow can go up and down. Create a stock flow diagram for almost anything that can accumulate. For example, that population of wolves in a national park. A character's level of happiness. Add elements that affect the flows, thus changing the stocks. After creating stock flow diagrams for a particular system, use them as a basis for conversation. For example, seeing how the same systems can be perceived in different ways. Here are diagrams showing how two people perceive the same literary character's level of happiness. Now they can talk about why they see the system differently, creating a possibility for one or both parties to refine their own thinking. Thank you for watching this short introduction to Stockflow Diagrams, brought to you by the Creative Learning Exchange.